With us is RNC Youth Advisory Council co-chair and author of One Generation Away, Brylin Hollyhan. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having us, Lydia. Will Dom Lemon definitely sour after that interview that he did with people on the street? But of course, he tried to make some lemonade out of all of it. Here's what he said on MSDNC. In Pittsburgh or in uh, the Jersey Shore and in, in Atlantic City, in Ohio especially, um, m many people did not know who she was. But for him, uh, I think that they thought that he's better for the economy. And that, again, that he gave them, that he brought money into the community and that, or that he was on black people's side. So he's trying to make an excuse. Will, what do you think? I mean, uh, you know, the polls schmoles. I mean, every time you go out there, people love Trump. Well, I think overall, Lydia, this is the thing. If you look at the numbers where um, the Democratic Party was four years ago with the black vote, um, they were upwards in, I, I believe, in like the high to mid-90s. Right now, they're, they lost about 30 percent of the vote. And instead, this is what's going on. The black community, they've seen time and time again promises made, but promises not kept. Mm -hmm. Underneath the Trump administration, they saw the economy working a lot better. They saw that, um, you know, they only need to work one job instead of two or three jobs to get by. And, that, and at the end of the day, they know what a President Trump presidency looks like, and they know what a President Harris or President Biden um, administration looks like. Speaking from a former Democratic uh, advisor to Bernie Sanders, you know, now, Brylin, according to a New York Times Siena poll, Gen Z women, which is another coveted voting block, those are women born between 1997 and 2012. That's Gen Z. They, the women, they favor Harris over Trump by 38 points. But when you talk about Gen Z men, they favor Trump over Harris by 13 points. So why do you think we see such a big gender divide when it comes to Gen Z voters? Well, Lydia, I think the Democrats believe that they have had this monopoly on my generation for decades, and they have, but we're breaking that monopoly this election. I'm a first-time voter, and I'll be voting for President Trump proudly. And all across the country, even in swing states, just like you saw in that video, we are seeing people who historically have voted for the left start shifting towards the right. And I think we're going to bring women over as well. An idea that I've pitched the Trump campaign and the RNC as the chairman of the RNC Youth Advisory Council is having some type of Women for Trump tour, having Melania Trump, having Usha Vance crisscross swing states and actually speak to suburban men and women, women in college campuses who we need to win over. That would be great to have them, you know, get to hear that. I think the choice before us is very clear. We can have four more years of a radical administration with Kamala Harris, who's even more radical than her boss, Joe Biden, or four years of a prosperous future for my generation with President Trump. My generation is going to make the right choice, Olivia. I definitely would love to hear more from Melania as well as Usha Vance, especially Usha. She's very, very accomplished. We don't know much about her, so she would be amazing out there on the campaign trail as well. Now, Will, a uh, morning consult poll finding that Trump is polling at 19 percent among black voters to Harris is 72 percent. Again, Don Lemon, he recently spoke to some young, young black women. And here's what they had to say about Trump. How are you feeling about the election? I'm going for Trump. I feel like every time they don't want somebody who is good for us to win, they throw somebody black in our face thinking that's going like, to make us vote for the black person. I'm supporting Trump. You are? Mm -hmm. Because? Because it has to change. Yeah. It has to change. And now I vote more for what fits me better as a person um, rather than voting for the black person or voting for the first woman. So. I'm going for Trump. Kamala was on Biden team, and I don't like Biden. Mm. Will, you wrote a piece on this subject for The Blaze. Uh, why is this happening? I think overall what's going on is that right now you have not only the black community, but you have communities overall that are seeing the ramifications. A perfect example is, I, I hate to use this example, but California yesterday in their um, General Assembly session, instead of focusing on the on the black community or other communities, provide, help provide an educational support, provide support to, and services overall, what did they do? They focused on providing funds to illegal immigrants. So now you have people in California of all races, black, brown, whatever, they're sitting here and you have them, you know, working two, three jobs that part of their income in California of all places, probably 40, 50 percent, it's going into the state treasury. And then what is the state and what is the Democrats doing out there? Oh, let's provide these funds to illegal immigrants. That's why people are upset and that's why people are coming out for Donald Trump. Gentlemen, we're going to leave it right there. And thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, indeed. All right. Uh, reminder about our growing.